Hey, hello everyone and today we are going to discuss how do user attributes actually work in AI Sensei and how can you connect dialog flow parameters to user attributes and this is one of my favorite features because you know when we gave that seamless dialog flow integration it came up to that whenever someone is doing lead generation or someone is collecting some information about a user and they want it back in dialog flow or they actually want that information in the ai sensei crm or their own crm or they want to just download that data how do they do that with the ai sensei dialog flow user attribute integration and that's possible if you connect dialog flow parameters to ai sensei attributes which is quite a feature in ai sensei so the number one use case that comes up with attributes is that if you have multiple data points while uploading contacts so you need to create those multiple data points as attributes by going to the user attributes section under manage on the ai sensei dashboard and you can simply add more attributes and create those attributes which you wish to import in the contacts table but another use case which is very very effective is actually connecting dialog flow parameters to ai sensei attributes so let's just get down to it how do we actually do that and it's pretty pretty very much simple to do that so first what i'll do is let me go to dialog flow and let me go to an intent where i actually have my action and parameters so i have an intent with me where i am doing the lead generation part and in this intent as you can see the training phrases goes inquiry inquiry inquire now and which simply means that whenever a user is going to type inquiry i'm going to ask them their name the type of inquiry that they're looking for what they are looking for is it whatsapp chatbot is it whatsapp marketing is it both and which kind of industry do they actually come from so these as you can see are the prompts so whenever i'm asking their name the prompt would be sure to register your inquiry i'll need to know a bit about you please enter your good name and then I ask them what type of service are they looking for? Is it WhatsApp, chatbot, marketing or both? And then I ask them what's their industry? Are they from e-commerce, finance, real estate, education and all of that? And also they can type these reference numbers. I'll take you step by step. How did I actually create these parameters? So basically since I have these parameters required, that simply means that whenever someone types inquire now, until and unless the answers to these parameters are given by the users this this intent won't give the response and the response being thanks i have registered your inquiry we'll get back to you soon so and so so basically i have three parameters with me one is inquiry name the another is type and the third is industry so i have just named them as it is as you can see here the name of the first parameter is inquiry name the name of the second parameter is type the name of the third parameter is industry now the second part comes is the entity so the entity basically means that what kind of options would you accept as answers in these parameters right so basically when i'm saying inquiry name i understand when a person is entering their name it could be just anything right i cannot i cannot predict what would be a person's name and hence i put the entity name as sys dot any and the value is all is just the parameter name and with a prefix of dollar signature that's it nothing 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 rocket signs out here and the value is just a dollar signature prefix to the parameter name so that's the value right so that simply means that the answer of the user would actually take up dollar inquiry name right it would replace dollar inquiry name and hence if i want to use that answer somewhere let's suppose i want to use this name somewhere i would be quoting it as dollar inquiry name that simply means let's suppose a user enters their name as gotham right and if i wish to use gotham in the next response or the next question i can actually use that as dollar inquiry name which i have actually done let's see here so i've said lovely name dollar inquiry name so whatever name they're going to enter the next question is going to be to them personalized to their name right and that is how you can use you know dollar values even you can use these dollar values in the response i can put up here thanks dollar inquiry name right 
and then it would answer it accordingly right and I can just hit on save button and that is how you can use the dollar values within the intent and within the answers and this is very different if you want to use this dollar inquiry name in a different intent but we'll talk about that later so the next part is I have the parameter name called type and the entity is at the rate type now basically here I know that I just want these three values whatsapp chatbot whatsapp marketing or both or if someone is entering one two or three in this parameter so basically I will restrict yes I will restrict this parameter to just these values by creating an entity called type so I'll go to entities and I'll find the type entity so here I can see that the reference value is whatsapp chatbot whatsapp marketing and both also what I can do here is basically I can I can put up some synonyms so I can say okay whatsapp chatbot has a synonym of whatsapp chatbot itself and one since I reference whatsapp chatbot as one in my question right in this part I can say like a lot of people put up here marketing itself right so if I just write marketing or if I just write chatbot that would also reference to whatsapp chatbot in the answers and it would actually take it up but mind you any answer apart from these synonym values and these reference values wouldn't be taken up so the bot would actually keep asking the question again and again till it gets these values right that is how actually we created the entity which restricts it to whatsapp chatbot whatsapp marketing both or one two three or marketing and chatbot right coming on to the next part i would like to show you the third parameter and that is the industry so again industry is the parameter name entity is at the rate industry i have created this entity same as i created the type entity also the prompt that will be asked for this industry is great one last thing please share industry one for so two for this two three for real estate four for education and so on so i'll show you this entity also i'll go back to entities i'll just type industry and you can see here right e-commerce if they say e-commerce if they say e-commerce or if they say e-com they say one all of that will reference to e-commerce and i'll get that value as a parameter value right and same goes for it there's a real estate real estate and three education ed tech courses course whatever they say it's going to reference it to the reference value and that value is what i'll get as the parameter value in that particular parameter right so basically this was the first part when I'm configuring these parameters out here so I can see I've configured three parameters I have the restricted entities and you know the action name is inquiry so action is basically a reference kind of stuff that we use in fulfillment and other features of dialog flow a very useful thing just to reference the parameters under something under a label basically right so that is particularly called somewhat like an action right so it, it doesn't have very much significance in the answers or in the questions but it is just to say that okay that these parameters come under this kind of action right so the action name I've kept as inquiry and the parameter name is inquiry name type and industry now if I've connected this particular chatbot to whatsapp via AI Sensei, so I can actually get these values into AI Sensei very easily using AI Sensei user attributes what I'll have to do is I'll have to create this exact same parameters as user attributes. So what I'll do is I'll go to AICNC and I'll add the first attribute as inquiry name. And the action would be the exact same action that is in dialog flow. So inquiry. Right, that is the number one. So I'll save it. I can save them later on also, but yeah that is type type I'll add more I'll add industry right next moment I'll just say type okay next moment next moment I'll just add inquiry to the action name right so I've added the action name here I have added the parameter name here as the attribute names and I'll just click on save attributes and you can see whether these attributes have been created or not and you can check this very easily by going to contacts and scrolling horizontally 
and seeing that inquiry was the action name underscore parameter name is the actual attribute value that goes into AI Sensei. Now you can use these attribute values also when you're shooting and broadcasting campaigns. So let's suppose you collect the industry name from multiple people and you wish to use their industry name in the broadcast message. So the attribute value would be actually dollar inquiry underscore industry if you want to shoot whatever they were answered in the industry parameter, right? So next moment what I'll do is I'll show you a demo of how this chatbot functions and how we are collecting these attributes and how you can actually view these attributes and further download them. So I have this WhatsApp chatbot here which I have connected to my ASNC account and now I'll just start doing that exact chat which we configured on Dialogflow. So let me start by saying a hi. And I get the response like, hey, I'm your agency assistant and all of that, right? Whatever we have configured. And the next moment I can type inquiry, right? So when I type inquiry, the question that comes up is exactly what we set it up there. Sure, to register your inquiry, I'll need to know a bit about you. Please enter your good name. Enter my good name. That's Gotham. The next question comes up. Lovely name Gotham. Please select what you're looking for. At the same time, if I go to my dashboard on the live chat section and I go to Gotham Rajesh Shelly and I go to attributes, I can actually see inquiry name has been filled up with Gotham. So in the attributes section, you will be able to see a live view of what all attributes the user has actually filled up. So next I can type up here like two, right? So as I write two, the two was referenced to WhatsApp marketing. This was the reference value in the entity and that is what it will take up in the attribute value here. Next moment I can say, okay, education. So it asked me all these three parameters and I've just put up education. Same manner here in the industry, I get education, right? So basically this is how the whole chatbot thing is working. How I have actually connected dialog flow parameters to AI Sensei attributes. Also what I can do is I can go to contacts and see that basically in the inquiry industry, I actually have education in the inquiry type. I actually have WhatsApp marketing inquiry name. I have got them. Okay. Next moment I can use these values in my broadcast campaigns. I can download this. I can export this and do a whole lot of stuff with dialog flow parameters and AI Sensei attributes. Hope you like it. Stay on for more amazing features that we have. Thanks a lot for watching this video.